Growing up, I would spend the night at my friend's house on Friday nights, and inevitably that would turn into again on a Saturday night. And I knew that it meant I would go to church with them on Sunday. I had never gone to church growing up as a kid, but this church was a Korean church, and so sometimes the sermon was in partial Korean, but also there was this amazing smell of kimchi, and but I also just felt the community there. Uh, the people there were loving and caring and kind. And then I would just go on. I would leave his house and go home, and, and it took years for that really to sink in. I was bitter and resentful about certain things happening in my life. I felt like I wasn't or my family wasn't deserving of the things that we were going through. I was going through the day-to-day -day motions of life, but had no real sense of purpose. I felt a crushing weight of trying to make big decisions that I felt like I had to make all on my own. I became atheist in my late teen years. Really hardcore atheist, like so against God. And then I had an experience with the loss of my firstborn son where I experienced what felt like someone holding me while I was holding him. I wasn't against God anymore. I was more open to the general idea, but still, like, would not stand up and defend the idea of God. <laughs> the world waits for a miracle. The heart longs for a little bit of hope. Oh, come. Oh, come, Emmanuel. I'll praise for peace on earth She's calling out from a sea of hurt Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel And can you hear the angels sing? until college when I met my wife and some good friends that I would just know that their faith was important to them as well. They loved me even though I hadn't had that. Um, but I was able to get baptized at Journey and even though my faith is in its infancy and it's childlike at times, I have learned that they cared for me and they cared for who I was. I'm thankful for that uh, because in my mind and what I have learned and about Jesus is that he he loves people for where they're, where they're at. I felt like no one understood what I was going through because they weren't in my position. But looking back, I see that everything was happening for a greater purpose, even though I wasn't able to see or even understand that at the time. I asked Jesus into my life after a church service with my now husband, just kind of pondering about what we learned and our big takeaway that would be the best decision for me. I worked all the time. Um, my work was my God. The day I learned about Jesus, I spent the rest of that day reading. My life was totally different. Like, everything was different. All of my time, like, and everything that I have, like, I, I learned that none of it is ours, right? Like, everything is, it's not ours. And I, I don't deserve any of this. Like, I haven't done anything to deserve what he has given me and the knowledge that he's given me in this last year. The drought breaks with the tears of a mother. A baby's cry is the sound of love. Come down, come down, amen.
as a teacher now and community member and as a husband and a father, I really aim to share that Jesus loved people where they're at. It's something that I'm still learning through, I'm still reading through, I'm still growing into. I've accepted this simple truth and I am grateful for that. I feel like a completely new person. I have a newfound sense of peace and freedom and I have someone to go to now when I'm feeling conflicted or confused. Now I realize that there is someone who can help guide me in life and it is such a freeing feeling when you can stop blaming Jesus for your circumstances and start thanking Him. Making room for Jesus in my life was hands down the best decision that I have ever made and He is the one constant that will always be in my life. You hear joy to the world in like every grocery store, right? Like it doesn't matter if you believe in God or anything. It's things like that are so mainstream. And then I heard the lyrics like let earth receive her king for the first time ever last year, believing in Jesus and like heard let every heart prepare him room and was just just blown away by that, that I had heard those things my whole life and not cared at all. The more I learn, the more I want to know. I don't want to go back to the other way. Now, yeah, I will never be ashamed that I love God, that I don't have all the answers, <laughs> and that I trust someone who does. Oh,